Okay guys, tonight I am cooking. I haven't got dressed today. I haven't done nothing with myself. So tonight I am cooking a roast. It's a it's a pork loin roast. It's a um, tenderloin. And some baked potatoes and some broccoli. So let's get to this. Okay everyone, I am going to put this pork loin in to cook. It, look, it was six dollars and I think it was six fifty two. I don't know if you can see it, but it's pretty thick. Look how thick this one is. I'm gonna wrap it in foil like I normally do most of my stuff. And I'm gonna put it on like 225 and I'm gonna let it cook for hours. Um, let me get these pans out of the oven. So, I'm just gonna let it cook really slow. So bake, we're gonna go down to about 225. Oops, way down, and preheat the oven. So it's kind of gonna be kind of be like crock potting it, you know, cooking it real slow. But we're not going to wrap it in foil. I need to get some more foil because I'm going to run out. And I love to wrap stuff in foil because it seals it and it makes it taste so much better. Okay. So we'll put it in that pan. Okay. We're going to lay it here on the foil. Um, let me cut it open. It'll be really tender. I, um, I really like meat when it's, when it's so tender, which this has no bone. But I like meat when it's so tender that it falls off the bone. Okay, well I got a terrible pair of scissors. That's okay. Okay. I'm not even sure what I'm going to make to go with this, guys. I have no clue. No clue at all. Um, but it's like a pork. It's a pork tenderloin. It's got some seasonings on it. Let's see what it's got on it. Let's see if I can see it. It's, um... What does that say? I can't see. C-R-E-O-L-E -E flavored. Pork loin filet. It's a filet, so it's going to be delicious. I don't know what that flavor is. I'm going to put some more seasonings on it. Might not need to put more seasonings on it. Let's put a little bit of cavenders on it. Maybe a little bit of paprika, but um, it's got its own flavor. I bought two of these when I went to the market because they didn't have very much, guys. They didn't have very much at all when I went to the market. Where's my paprika? There it is. So I'm just going to leave the seasons that are on it and just that's all I'm putting on it. I'm going to wrap it and I'm going to um, cook it real slow. Wrap it and cook it slow. Always remember when you wrap it, wrap it. Seal it tight. Make sure you leave breathing room in here. See the breathing room? So even though I'm sealing it really tight, I'm going to leave that breathing room. So that breathing room is going to stay in there. I gotta do the sides as tight as I can and make sure they're lifted up. So that way the juices stay in there from the pork. Alright, so that side is good and we'll lift it up so that it um the juices don't go out remember when the juices come out the meat gets tough and we got a lot of breathing room in there lots of it so it's just going to cook slow all day and we'll check on it in about maybe Maybe three hours, or four hours. It's going to take a while. And it'll be really tender. That's all we're going to do. Put it in the pan. Put the pan in the oven. And, um, we'll check on it. Let's say it's, it's almost three now. So it's 248. So 
three, four, five, six, not three, four, five, six, seven. Um, probably check on it around six or seven. I'm not sure. And then I got to figure out what I'm having to go with it. But right now, I'm going to eat lunch and I'm eating leftovers from yesterday. Look, a little bit of ribs. There wasn't much ribs left. Baked beans and the potatoes. This is my lunch from today. Or from, it's my leftovers from yesterday, but my lunch for today. All right, we're going to put that in and I'll see you in a few hours. Okay, guys. So I am making baked potatoes. I'm going to make six of them. Hopefully this roast will be okay that we can have maybe for two days. So we can have baked potato today and a baked potato tomorrow with the roast. I think I'm also going to make some broccoli. Um, still not sure on the second side. But I'm going to set you guys up. We are going to um, get these potatoes ready to throw in the oven. Okay, so I'll start on this one that's close so that you guys can actually see it. Let's see how close we can get. There we go. Um, I never got dressed today, guys. So, but I do have my apron, apron on. All right, so I want some garlic salt. Garlic salt is so good on baked potatoes. Um, there's garlic powder too. I'm trying to think, we could do garlic powder too. I think that's all I'm going to put on them. Let's see. Um, yeah, I think that's all I'm going to put on. I'm going to use butter. Let me get some butter. Not a whole lot of butter. Um, you guys can't see that. I'm just going to put a little bit of butter on each side of the potato. But what I'm going to do first is I'm going to poke some holes in the potato. Let me find a good knife. I want a good one that's going to actually... Um, poke some good holes in it. Let's see about this little one. This little one might work. Alright, so what I want to do is I want to take and poke a whole, few holes in the potato. Kind of like this. That way, whatever seasons I put on this potato are going to, it's going to be sealed and wrapped really good. So whatever seasons I put on this potato are going to go inside, which is going to make it really good. So there's that one. Um, I'm just going to do this real quick to all of these. And then that way you guys can see I'll, I'll just season them all real quick and throw them back in the oven now the roast has been in the oven but it's only been on 225 it's been in there for three hours long time two of these potatoes are gigantic um and the others are, are big but they're not gigantic like like those first two i did all right so but if you poke the holes in your potatoes that means that you know the stuff will seep up in there it'll be really good okay this one's pretty big too and if you don't like garlic powder or garlic salt then use your own seasoning use whatever you guys like um you know if you like something different on your potato then do something different on your potato don't just have a plain potato um, you, cause while you're baking them, you can have them seasoning while you're baking them. Okay. So, um, I'm going to just sprinkle the garlic powder. This is the garlic salt. I'm just going to, the potatoes were still wet. So I'm just going to sprinkle it on top all over. And then, um, Flip them over because the potatoes are wet, so the stuff is sticking to them. Plus, it'll still be in the foil. Like, this, the seasonings will still be in the foil. All right, so that's all I'm going to do with that. I'm going to put a little bit of garlic powder. And I'm only going to put that on one side because it's going on the foil. It's going to seep in. It's going to be good. And then I'm going to put butter around them all. Just a little bit of butter on each side of the potato before I wrap it up. I mean, like like a little bit guys I'll just put it down on the foil because it's gonna melt 
and it's going to be inside with the potato. A little bit on each side. And I'm going to put them back in the oven with the um, with the pork roast. Oops. And um, seal them up. And then cook them another, probably another, I'd say at least another hour. I'm going to have to get another stick of butter, guys. I think I need some, I need some tubs of butter, but I don't want to go to the store. With everything going on, I don't want to go to the store. I might um, do a small order from Walmart.com online and just go pick it up. Because I'm going to need some butter and um, some other little things. I'm probably going to need eggs. You know, because I, we're not, we're not locked down, but I have not been there since my trip. I have just been staying home. So, okay, I think that's plenty. Okay, so then make sure you're, you probably have to turn it. So make sure that your, your butter's on each side of the big side. And then just wrap it. It doesn't really matter if it's on each side of the big side. It could be anywhere as long as it's up in there. Now, these are just the little sheets of foil. They're not real heavy duty, so be careful that you don't rip the foil. Um, just wrap it up. Make sure you seal the ends. Seal them and point them up. You know, even if you don't, um, make sure they're, just like anything else I tell you, make sure the sides are pointing up. See how it's pointed up? Um, and that way, the juice from your butter stays in. Doesn't go on the pan. I don't think you're going to have a dry potato anyways. I don't think that's going to happen. But just, just try to make sure that you... Um, that you seal it up really good. Now these smaller ones are gonna be easier ones to wrap because the foil's not that big. Okay, and just, just continue to do that. Seal them up good. Got them, to leave them a little bit of breathing room in there and then that butter will have room to flow around. But the tighter you seal it, um, and you know, you can't bake a potato too long, I don't think. Like some people, sometimes people double bake their potato. You know, they'll bake it tonight and then they'll heat it up and bake it for another hour tomorrow night. So, um, I don't think that you're going to over bake your potato. I think it's just going to be smushier and it's going to taste better. So, at least leave them, like these are pretty big and my temperature's down low. So at least leave them in, um at least an hour probably an hour and a half i don't know how long it takes to bake potato but these are big and like i said you're not going to hurt them this foil right here kind of ripped i might have to get another piece of foil for that one so that's kind of all you do i'm going to put them i'm going to put them on a pan i'll probably put them in a pan instead of on that one pan i was going to put them on a flat pan but just in case they decide to leak, I'm gonna put them on a on like inside of a pan. It's gonna be so good. I'm probably gonna make broccoli to go with this, guys. Probably broccoli. But yeah, any of you that are that are keeping yourself at home and you need food, you know, you can go to Walmart.com and you can order food online. And then you can just pull it to the side of the building and they will bring it out to you. You set up a time and I've never done it yet though, but I'm going to do it because I need a couple of things that I do not want to go into the store. And sometimes if they say that if, if there's something on the website and you order it, they say that you're guaranteed to get it. So, you know, that's pretty cool if you're guaranteed to get something. Okay. And then the last one, like I said, I made six of them. That roast is pretty decent size that I think that we should be able to have it tonight and tomorrow night. I like to cook things that we can have two nights in a row. And sometimes Haley doesn't like what we make, so she, then she comes out and makes noodles or something. So um, then it makes it last long, other stuff last longer. Tyler and I don't, don't eat a whole lot and 
That roast would definitely be good for a couple days. We'll see. But now that he takes lunch to work, sometimes we have leftovers and he just takes the leftovers to work and then I have to cook something else for, for dinner. Boy, am I talking a lot. I feel like I'm talking a lot. All right, so I'm going to use this pan here and I'm going to put them in this. No, maybe I'm not. They're going to be so tight. I'm not going to put them in that pan. I lied. I'm going to use this pan and just put them in there flat. So hopefully, hopefully they, um, they cook well. I think they will. I think they'll be fine. All right, so now the oven was on 225. So I'm trying to think I probably definitely need to jack them up or I'm going to be, I'm going to be, um, it'll take a lot longer. So I might jack this up to, what time is it here? Okay, so let me jack it up to 300. Let me pull the roast out of the, out of here. Make sure there's juice is still in it. All right, so we're going to make sure there's juice is still in there. We're jacking the heat up to... Oh, hot. Let me shake it. Oh, there's definitely still juice in there. And there's a lot of air in there. So that's good. I think there's, I think there's juice in there. I don't want to cut it open. So, yeah, I definitely don't want to cut it open. It's only been cooking slow it's been for three hours though so i'm gonna definitely put it back in put all of it back in for one hour then i'm probably going to take this roast out and leave the potatoes in for another 30 minutes but i'm jacking it up to 300 now so yeah we'll see all right guys so there's the roast there's the potatoes I will see you guys in an hour. All right, guys, it's done. It's done. These are the biggest ones, so let's, let me, should I poke a butter knife or a sharp knife? I'll just poke the sharp knife. Right through. They are done. I mean, wow. This is the other big one. Oh, wow, I want that one. <laughs> they are completely done, guys. And then the roast is in here, so let me set you up so we can see the roast. Let me switch it around and put you over here. Okay, so, let me slide this over. Oh, I didn't do the broccoli. Let me throw the broccoli in the microwave. Put the broccoli in the microwave real quick. All right, guys. Here goes the rose. It's gonna be so good. Oh my gosh. So much juice left in there. Look, guys, can you see that? Look at that. Yum, let's get the knife. Oh wow, okay. So that is completely tender um, the baked potatoes there and I'm making broccoli so let me open up a potato for you guys that roast is so done oh my goodness okay so let me slide this back over and open up one of these potatoes for you guys to see see if it's good and done this one right here is pretty big I'll, I'll open this one up because I'm probably gonna eat that one Probably. Kind of want that real big one though. I kind of want that real big one. We'll see if it's done. Let me get a plate. Put it on a plate. Okay. So let me just put it here on the plate. And we're going to do this real big one right here. I'm just going to cut it open. Let's see. Oh yeah, it's done. It's definitely done. And it's got the butter and the juice on there. 
Yum. Oh my goodness. I am so hungry. This looks delicious. Look at that, guys. Completely done. Oh my. So there is my potato and I will be buttering that thing up and I will be adding some sour cream. Oh my God, that's gonna be so delicious. It's no wonder I'm gaining weight, all this good food that I cook. All right, so there's the potato. The oven still says 12 minutes. Nobody else is eating with me. So I'm putting them back in, but they're done. It ain't gonna hurt them to get double baked or whatever. It won't hurt that. I'm gonna cut me up some meat and we are gonna go eat. This broccoli is on, it's just microwavable broccoli. So let me find some good piece of meat off of this. Oh wow, it just falls apart guys. Look at this, can you see it? It just, look, it just falls apart. Oh boy, it's like, a, it's definitely like a filet. It's definitely falling apart. I don't know what it tastes like yet, but it's got a lot of juice left in there. Maybe I'll take some of that juice and put it on, um, put it on my meat. If I can do it with this without, there we go. All right. Now there's so much juice left that I can just throw it back in the oven. I'm gonna turn the oven off actually and just leave it in a warm oven. Just, I'm just gonna leave it like that. It'll be fine. I'm gonna throw it in the, throw it in the oven. I'm gonna put this down on the bottom shelf. Put this on the top shelf. And I will see you guys, as soon as this broccoli's done, I'll see you at the dinner table. Looks delicious. Okay, guys. Excuse the way I look. I haven't got dressed today. I haven't really done nothing with myself. I put a little bit of eyeliner on. Anyways, dinner's done. We have pork roast. We have a baked potato and some broccoli. Right, first of all, I have to take my medicine. Take some of my pills now. Forgot about them. All right, so some of those bills are down. All right, guys, the baked potato, I cooked it for, I think I cooked it for two hours. The roast, I cooked, the pork loin, I cooked on 200, was it 200 or 225? Whatever I said in the beginning of the video. But I cooked it for, I think, three hours. Oh my god, the baked potato is definitely overbaked, but it's so good. It's like a mashed potato, melts right in your mouth. Um, I do have some sour cream here to put on it. The roast, or the, the potatoes I cooked for two hours on 300. Um, the roast I cooked, I believe it was on, I want to say 200. I think it was 225. 225 for three hours. And then I jacked the heat up to 300 and left the roast and the potatoes in there. So I cooked the roast for a total of five hours, but three hours was on 225. The other two hours was on 300. All right, so we're going to try this roast and see how it tastes. Here it goes, guys. Oh, it's got a kick. It's got a kick. So whatever, mm, whatever that seasoning was that I I didn't couldn't pronounce, I spelled it out for you guys. It's got a kick to it. Oh, see, I took it out before it was done, so it's beeping now. Stop it. So, yeah, whatever the flavor was on that pork roast, it's kind of a little spicy. Not too bad, a little spicy. But even if you get one that's not spicy, um, you can still cook it the same way. It is so tender. It just falls apart in your mouth. 
And I always stress to make sure that foil seals it and the juices stay in. It's really, really good. And it's not that spicy now that I'm eating it. So, yeah, it's not that spicy. I don't eat too much stuff if it's real spicy. That first bite kind of gave me a kick, but I haven't had nothing to eat today. It's really good. Alright, let's try out the broccoli and see if it got done. Because I cooked it real fast in the microwave afterwards. Mmm. That's delicious. This broccoli, guys, I get it from Save a Lot. I'll show you the bag. They actually changed changed the bag up. This is the new bag. And I think it's like a dollar twenty a bag. All it is is the heads of the broccoli. It's so good. And you just cook the bag in the microwave. It's really good. Alright, sour cream time for my potato. Yum. I'm eating alone again. <laughs> oh well. I'm used to it. It's okay. I don't mind eating alone. I'm always the last one at the table anyways. I'm always alone. After everybody gets done, they get up and leave. When they are here, so it don't matter. I eat. I'm a slow eater. If I sat here with you guys, it would be it would probably be at least 30 minutes, maybe longer, before I'm done eating. You guys would be like, oh my god, she needs to hurry up. Mm. I'm sure that's what my family said all these years because I've always been a slow eater. <laughs> it's crazy. I took one of the biggest potatoes and it's, it's completely done all the way through. Mm. All right, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Short but sweet videos. I'm not a professional. Never claim to be. This is just how I cook. If you guys, I'm just a normal, everyday person, just like you guys. We're all nobody's nobody's any better than anybody else. Nobody just because somebody goes to culinary school or somebody can cook better doesn't mean anybody's better than anybody. I just cook like everyday people cook. I love you guys. I will see you. Bye.